So before starting the video, I just want to make sure that you guys don't think I have a hickey on my neck. I just scratched myself and somehow it turned really red, but I promise you it is not a hickey. Hey guys, welcome back to Lesbian Central. My name is Becky and today I am covering for Trey. She is in Nicaragua and I am very, very jealous because she is in the warm and I am here in the cold. But anyway, getting to today's topic, the first one is how to get a girl's attention. Both Erica and Ollie covered that and I think they did a good job at covering some examples and scenarios. And I don't have much to say other than be confident and put yourself out there and hopefully things will work out in your favor. The topic I want to focus on today is dating someone with a different sexual or romantic orientation to yours. I am covering this on the premise that you are dating so it's not a lesbian being in love with a straight girl but instead something that is compatible like a lesbian dating a bisexual. I want to focus on the lesbian dating a bisexual example because I have very strong feelings towards this topic and I think it is very important to cover it. So I want to focus on when a lesbian says that they would not date a bisexual, pansexual, or queer woman because they don't want to be left for a man. The reason why I have very strong feelings about this and I do not agree with this statement is because this statement often comes from a place of fear and the mindset that a man or someone that identifies as male is less than or a different species in general and that you would never be able to date someone who was attracted to men. The way I see it is that it is a person falling in love with a person and it doesn't matter how you identify yourself, what your sexual orientation might be, it is simply people being in love with people. And I think that's very important because I find that the reason why lesbians say I would never date a bisexual girl is because we are insecure and we feel that we need constant reassurance that this girl that we're dating is 100% attracted to us. And somehow the fact that she might also be attracted to men makes it less valid. So bringing it back to the example, I think that if a lesbian dates a bisexual girl, in the back of a lesbian's mind there is always that fear of being left for a man because that somehow makes the bisexual girl less attracted to the lesbian. I don't find that fair because I don't think sexual orientation has anything to do with how attracted you are to your partner. If the lesbian was dating another lesbian, the lesbian wouldn't have to worry about being left for a man because she is sure that the lesbian is attracted to women and she is a woman. So in a way, the lesbian has less competition because she is only competing with the same gender. Just because you might have narrowed it down to a gender, in this case a lesbian to women, doesn't mean that you have any less options than a bisexual who might be attracted to both genders. So this leads me to my second point, which Kay touched on on Monday, which is that sexuality is something fluid. Just like everything else in society and in our lives, there is a spectrum. So I am going to give you an example, which is pizza um, representing homosexuality and pasta representing heterosexuality. And bisexuals, the ones that are 50-50, would fall somewhere in the middle. So the ones that are all the way on this side of the spectrum, the ones that like pizza the most and do not like pasta, those would be the homosexuals that are 100% gay. They are gay, they have only been attracted to the same sex, and that is the way it's going to be for the rest of their lives. And then on this side, it is the heterosexual people that are attracted to the opposite gender, and that is something they are very sure about. Most of us fall somewhere in the middle. Some people will prefer pizza and don't mind having a bit of pasta on the side every once in a while. And others might love pasta but can tolerate a bit of pizza every year or every two years. You can be 100% sure that you love pizza and you've never tried a pasta that you like, but then one day you might try pasta with a bit of pesto in it and you have never tried it before and it is something that you are completely in love with and from that day onwards you want pasta with pesto all the time. And the reason why I am comparing homosexuality with heterosexuality is because no one would ever come to you and be like, 
Oh, are you sure you like pizza? Are you 100% sure? Because if you say you like pizza, you can't go back to liking pasta. It has to be something you are 100% sure and completely certain about. No one would ever say that. You would call them crazy and tell them that your preferences might change one day, and that is that. I find that with sexual orientation, people are very rigid about it. If you say you're a lesbian, you better make sure you're a lesbian and you're only attracted to women for the rest of your life. And I find that so stupid because most of us aren't 100% gay or aren't 100% straight or 50-50 in case of bisexuals. We all have different percentages and it goes through phases just like everything else in our lives do. And I think this is one of the reasons why figuring out yourself and who you're attracted to can be so nerve-wracking for some people. So in my opinion, I think we should stop putting so much pressure on figuring out what kind of label suits us best and make sure that it doesn't change ever, ever, ever. And instead, we should love who we want to love and accept ourselves and keep our minds open to whatever the future might bring us. So I am going to end the video on that cheesy note and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. Like always, let us know if you have a topic you would like to see in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. All the social media links will be down below and I will see you guys next time.